everyone my name is anjali and i'm third year bsms student from aizer bhopal so today i'll be telling you about a brief strategy of 5 months which you should follow if you are targeting aizer or any research institute so i am targeting the audience who have, who have not studied class 11 properly and for those whose boards are uh, near so i am making a video which targets 5 months and which targets these people mostly so why i am making this video because i think that no one can tell you this better than me because i have done mistakes in my life i have not studied class 11 properly and 12th was even worse than that i just studied for 4 months properly and uh, on the basis of that i am in iser and i am happy with it because if you study for 4 months then of course you are not going to get a seat in aims bhopal or aims delhi so let me share my experience with you so i made some points see uh you have wasted your uh, 12th whatever months uh, was uh, there you have wasted that i am hoping so still you have 5 months in your hand so what you have to if you are focused now if you have thought that i want to get admission in any college any college i am telling you so you have to get focused now because competition is very high even if you are intelligent you are not going to get admission if you don't study because hard work now overcomes intelligence now of course you have to work harder if you have not studied till now properly you have to give more attention that doesn't mean you have to compromise with your sleep or your daily schedule uh, no you just have to be uh, sincere that's all so first of all you have your boards you have to prepare for your boards and uh, and class 12 marks is not that much important uh, in your career but yeah everyone will ask you how much did, did you score in uh, 12th examination in college some people will ask you for job interviews people will ask you so that is only the importance uh, you just have to get the basic percentage 75 up, uh, above then you will be able to give all the examination so target this much i am not even i'm not of course not telling you to target 75 no i'm just telling you at least get this much basic marks for your boards and study for your boards properly if you are you have still 5 months in your hand so study for your boards properly and if you'll study for your boards properly 2 months is more than enough to complete all your syllabus of class 12 i know you'll not believe me at when i was in 12th i was not able to believe i was very much panic in panic condition like how will i complete the syllabus i'll not be able to do that so i was like mentally i was not able to maybe i would be able to do in one month But, but you know that confidence was not there and no one was there to tell me that this is the strategy like this you should approach and it, i was not close to my teachers even so this is also very important this mental strength uh, which i hope that i'll be able to provide you so first of all prepare for boards thoroughly uh, for two months make slots like every day you should target two chapters uh, i am considering you to be a bio student or maths anything i was bio so i make videos taking reference bio so study bio every day you know bio has a lot of weightages in neat also and it has many syllabus uh, so take two chapters every day one of bio and one of anything chemistry or physics your wish so daily target to two chapters and then complete it if you are math student then uh, you can do two chapters daily you just make slots take any two chapters of your choice and just target two chapters daily see uh, now if you are a bio student then bio should be done daily because it will give uh, it will give you confidence it will boost up it will keep you motivated and uh, doing one uh, chapter of bio will be easy for you on the daily basis so how will you do that and yeah if you are a bio student then you should do bio daily because uh, it will give you confidence and it will keep you motivated even because uh, completing one chapter of physics is difficult than completing one chapter of biology you will agree to this so for i'll suggest you that do one chapter of bio every day with anything any other chapter from physics or chemistry whatever you want you can choose and there will be some chapters in for 12th uh, like uh, i did not do magnetism portion when i was in 12th i just left it that unit i don't that magnet wala unit is there now so i left it so when i was preparing for both and it was giving me problem so what you have to do for that is that uh, for those chapters which you have not touched even once so give full day to that chapter and prepare from the scratch don't just leave it one chapter one day will be enough if you complete uh, if you complete the chapter in that day thoroughly uh, so learn from one shot or any like i used to complete my physics from gaurav gupta sir at my time so he, i was able to understand whatever he taught uh, you can 
learn from any teacher of your choice. I'm just giving you my opinion, my suggestion. Like I completed my biology from Garima Goel, ma'am. Then my chemistry from Vishal Tiwari, sir. And physics, Kaura Gupta, sir. So I used to do one shot. Uh, if you have left some of the chapters which you have not touched uh, till now, then you have to give one day to that chapter. Then only you will be able to complete that chapter properly or else you will be doing that chapter upar upar se and then it will be gone. So just give one day to that chapter. You will be able to finish in two months. Yeah, it's I have done it. So it's possible. Yeah. So if you're targeting IIT, then of course, rectification will not work because IIT asks you conceptual questions, not like need. So you have to understand the concept. So if you're uh, preparing for boards, then of course, you have theory examination and theory examination needs con uh, remembrance, concept, understanding. So whatever you are doing for 12, just do it thoroughly, understand the concepts, do not just grasp it, because if your concepts will not be clear, then you'll not be able to crack IIT. You know why I was able to crack IIT? Because whatever I read, my concepts were clear. I was not uh, someone who did hard work, but uh, means my nature is like that. If I'll study one chapter, then I'll study it properly. Uh, I'll ask questions, my brain will think about it. So that's why whatever I read, I read it thoroughly so that's the reason i was able to crack iit so clear your concepts i have told you how to clear it and yeah i have told you now that you should make slots two chapters daily so for that uh, i have made a timetable i don't know if you, you'll follow it you can just modify it so i'm sharing you my timetable you should modify it according to your preference so i used to get up at nine so yeah then till 10 30 i used to get ready and then start studying in meanwhile 9 to 10 30 i'll do all my daily course then i'll make my breakfast for myself yeah and then i'll study then from 10 30 to 1 30 i used to read one chapter of chemistry or physics and then from one shot i used to write practice and i used to understand that chapter properly so 10 30 to 1 30 will be enough to complete one chapter if you are doing it properly so you complete one chapter of anything bio or physics there, uh, sorry chemistry or physics try learning chemistry or physics in morning because at that time your grasping power will be more but it depends on you if you can grasp more at midnight then you should do this uh, these subjects at midnight only so then 1 30 to 2 30 just rest have lunch then 2 30 to 3 30 take a nap then 4 to 6 uh, i used to give uh, you know uh, there i used to follow all in one so i used to solve mcqs from that and then a subject, I mean, chapter MCQ, not the whole paper. So if I have read work energy and power in the afternoon uh, till 1.30, then I used to solve MCQs of that. Mostly I used to do need previous year questions MCQs, IIT MCQs, NEST MCQs. First I'll do these, then I'll do NCRT exemplar questions. So basic MCQs I used to do. At least try uh, doing 30 to 50 MCQs. They, whatever chapter you are, this is, this is the minimum I'm telling you because I was very RC, so. I mean, you should do more than 50, but at least 50, you should do whatever chapter MCQ you are doing. Then six to seven, I used to evaluate my mistakes. Evaluation is very necessary because if you'll not evaluate, uh, then there's no use now. So then seven to nine, it was my bio time. So I used to read one chapter of biology. I used to learn uh, it from one shot. I used to see one shot. Uh, and mostly biology chapters, one shot will be completed in 1.5 hours then you can look at the chapter just read and crt uh, so i used to do all these things and then seven to nine i'll do one shot i'll just uh, write besides my ncrt book there's space now so if anything is extra i'll write there i highlight it then one hour i used to study i used to read ncrt I used to underline so 10 to 11 i used to mark ncrt and then 11 to 11 30 only 30 minutes i used to solve 50 questions yeah, biology, MCQ, whatever chapter I have read, I used to solve in those in half an hour, 50 questions. You should do, 60 you should do because that is doable. You should do that. And then I'll evaluate in half an hour by 12. 12 was the closing time. I used to close all my books. And then I'll uh, go to sleep. 12, half, uh, my habit was to go, like watch something on phone. Then I used to sleep. I used to live alone now. So I used to see something for half an hour, any podcast or something, then I'll sleep. And then I'll get up at 8. Eight hours of sleep almost is sufficient for you. You should adjust the timetable according to you. And then at the eight to nine, anything like is to walk here in their room. So you should adjust the timetable according to you. Now coming to 11th portion. Yeah. You have not studied 11th properly. So it's obvious that you have to complete it now. You, should, you don't have to complete it properly because uh, in five months, you'll not be able to do everything. So my suggestion would be that uh, try... In 11th, you must have read some chapters, partially even. So try completing those chapters thoroughly. 
fifty percent of eleven syllabus you should do. Actually, you can do complete eleven in two months. But I don't know if you have studied eleven uh, properly or not. Even if you have studied partially, then you can complete your syllabus at least seventy percent in two months. But you have not studied uh, properly or like very uh, a week you are in class eleven portion. So you should complete at least fifty percent of the syllabus. So for that. I used to study from physics wala physics, so you should so in eleventh I'm telling you. So I used to do one shot. I mean not one shot. I used to study whole uh, lectures in eleventh from physics wala. You don't have to do that. You should study lectures from one shot because you don't have time. So complete chapters from one shot of class eleventh. Fifty percent of the chapter just select uh fifty percent of the portion and then start studying those chapters thoroughly. So I am considering that uh, you have studied eleventh partially. So just select chapters which you you want to study in which you can score well. So select fifty percent of the chapters and then make a timetable daily two chapters or daily one chapter according to you and then complete the syllabus in two months of eleventh fifty percent syllabus. So like this you will be able to complete whole twelfth and half of the eleventh or if you want then you can do seventy percent of the syllabus of eleventh. It all depends on your will part. But you will be able to crack IIT if you do this much. So this is what I will suggest you to do. Uh, give two months to twelfth. Give two months to eleventh, and whatever if you want to give uh, time to eleventh now, you can first give two months to eleventh now, then two months to twelfth afterwards, and you can continue for boards. So it depends on you how you want to prepare. I have just given you the overview. Then you have to give mock tests in between. Uh, like once a week, you should give mock tests, and after you complete the syllabus, uh, you should give mock tests daily. One month daily give mock tests. That will revise your concepts also. You will not forget anything. So, uh, just for four months, give once a week mock test, and then one month will be left. So, give mock test daily at that time. So, this will be my suggestion. And most important is that you should work and work hard, and then keep calm, have a peaceful mind, because that is uh, very important. And I want to tell that just don't let a test demoralize. You know, that doesn't matter in a long run. You, you know, you'll do much better even if you score less in test, but you'll do much better than those people. Who, uh, because of your will part, if you'll not leave the situation and you'll fight with it, then you'll do much better than your fellow classmates. I have seen that, and that's why I'm telling you. So just be focused and keep calm and try working hard. You'll get a path of your life, and you'll do great. I hope that I was able to help you, and thank you. Prepare well. Have a nice day.